hundred and five debates. And you know what? Let's have two hundred debates this time. If they can keep up, I, I encourage everyone to run. And whoever's out there, come down, run for school trustee, uh, run for councillor, and run for mayor. And uh, I will go toe to toe with anybody all the time. I'll do three debates like I did with Mr. Smitherman, and uh, I just can't wait. I, I can't wait to get my record uh, on the floor and let people decide for themselves. What would you do differently in the second term? I'm going to continue doing what I've been doing is watching every dime that's being spent. Uh, you've seen what happened when they strip my powers, all of a sudden they start spending like drunken sailors. It's not going to happen. We're going to get this uh, city back on track on October 27th, and, and until then, uh, we'll just keep fighting. I, you'll see me in budget. You'll see that if you, you want to see the $50 million, I'll show you more than $50 million in the budget. The council doesn't support it, they have to answer to the taxpayers. In 2010, your slogan was Stop the Gravy Train. What's your slogan this time? Four more years. Mr. Mayor, what do you tell parents on the campaign trail, who I'm sure you'll confront with a long <laughs> campaign, who ask you questions about your drug use and criminal Again, okay, you, you want to get personal? I'm, I'm sticking to my record. I'm not, that's all personal. I'm, I'm but but hold on. You, lied, personal. To, you lied to the public that's, for six no, months. That's, Why that's, should that's people all, trust you all, now? That's all personal. But you lied that's, to the public for six people, months. Why should people the, trust you now? Let the people speak for themselves. Jackson, if you don't want to, if you don't want to vote for me, that's fine. You know what? As long as you vote, that's what I tell people. If you don't want to vote for me, I want you to vote. But, but well, I'd rather have you vote against me than not vote at all. I've got the strongest track record. I've been the best mayor that this city's ever had. My record speaks for itself. And again, you can keep that very things. I know you're going to do that for 10 months. I'm going to stick to my record. Who got rid of the car registration tax? I did. Who came in with the lower tax percent, uh, lower tax increase than 2% for four years? I have. Who, who's got the best union deals with the... Uh, Union. I have. So you're saying, it's, subway are you saying it's unfair on, to people on, ask you about six months? I, 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 I can go all, all through. I can go through my whole list. You're going to sit here for an hour. You know, as well as I know, Jackson, that I've accomplished 85% of what I said I'd done. The only thing I couldn't have done is got rid of the land transfer tax. I admit I did not fulfill that, fulfill that promise. I'm still working on it. We're going to get 5%, and I'm going to keep working on it. But promises made were promises kept. You wanted to cut council in half. Attendance record against anyone else's. Um, here, hopefully you guys will do your homework and get the attendance out. Who has the best voting record down at council? Who's been here the most? Who's been in the city the most? Who's been de dealing with the, when there was the, you know, unfortunately the shooting at Eaton, Eaton Center? Who was down there first? Who was down there leading the ice storm? I was. But, I was. But how can no you one else was. So, you know what? My how, how can you talk, how can you talk about issues of crime when you were hanging out with drug dealers, Mr. Mayor? Are you saying it's unfair to ask about the One question at a time, guys. How can you talk about issues about crime? I, I don't, I, you know what, the voters um, have been quite clear so far on the way they said they're going to treat me, and you know what, we're going to let my track record speak for itself, and uh, I'm not running away from anyone, I want that, well, let's have a full debate, anytime, any place, I will I'll debate anyone, even in their backyard, you know what, let them, I, I, I look forward, so, let, let, let me tell you guys. Doug, Doug, hold on, just before you start, just to follow yeah. up on that question, beyond the mayor's record, the mother who comes up to him in the campaign and asks him, how could you smoke crack as mayor and then lie about it? What's the answer to that question to that mother? It's very simple. Everyone makes mistakes in life. Rob made a mistake. He apologized profusely. He's showing you what he's going to do to turn it around, and he's doing it. And the city has never been run better than under the Ford administration. That's facts. The media party, they can come after us for the next 10 months. And there's no doubt each and every one of you are going to be coming after us for 10 months. So we're, we're dealing with candidates, and then we're dealing with the media party. But finally, finally, the, get, the people get to speak up. Not the media, not the councillors that voted against everything the people voted Rob in for. Now it's the people. The people have their choice. If they want to vote for Rob Ford, they're going to vote for him. If they don't want to vote for Rob Ford, they won't vote for him. Why should people trust him? Very simple. He's the only politician, the only politician, Jackson, that has done what he said he was going to do. So it's very simple. I think There's he's also the only good. politician who lied about crack cocaine use for six months. I know, so why should people trust him? I got an idea, because you're going to be on to us for 10 months. Why don't you put your name in the hat, Jackson, and then you can be part of the debate, sure, because well, you're why, part why, of the why media Why do you act like it's so unfair for people it's to ask not, these questions? These are legitimate questions, but he's not answering. Jackson, I realize that, but you just love it. You'll go on for the next 10 months, the same question. Guess what, Jackson? People are tired of listening to you. I know you think they, they aren't, but they're tired of listening to Jackson. In the rest of the media, hey, Doug, they Doug. want to—they want to look at their pocketbook. They want to be able to go to sleep and know someone's mining the bank account. And guess what? Rob Ford's mining the bank account. Yes. But Doug, your brother just—it's a media's fault that friends was created. Oh, 
Oh, no, it's not. And I've, I've never blamed the media 100%. Have they fed it? Absolutely. Is Rob responsible for some of it? 100%. We've never denied that. But this is about the election. This is about having the, the best run city in North America. It's an incredible city. Doug, your, your brother just brought up the Eden Center shooting. How can, yeah. you, how can you talk about his response to crime when he was, was hanging out with drug okay, dealers and again, people who are alleged to have been in a gang? Again, that's the Toronto Star media. That's not... No, that's, that's, not, not that's, 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 that's not... That's not... That's not... That's not... That's not... I know you, get, you guys want to keep going. I look forward to working... But, that, but why not answer the question? Why not answer... How can you, how can you talk about his response to crime? How can you talk about his response to crime when he was hanging out with drug dealers and people who are alleged to have been Again. Answer. 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 Well, let's, that. let's just, let's just talk about it. Media, okay, let's just talk about it. So I've names. come down here, and every single question has been personal. No, it he, yes, he brought no, up the Eaton Center no, shooting. He brought every up a gay question, shooting at a mall in Toronto. Okay, every question has been personal. No, and not one of you, video. not you're one of you yet, have said, we have the best run financial record in North America. Not one of you have said we've saved a billion dollars. Not one of you has said this city is booming. You want to go personal. You've never answered the questions. I know. Questions. You're, you're and all these questions Jamie, are fair. You, Jamie, can turn, you, can turn, you can turn. You can turn the tables on the media. Jamie, That's fine. But these I are legitimate know, questions. I know, and I think we've answered it eight thousand times. Eight thousand times. You've never answered and you it. You guys, you guys are never, ever, ever happy. The people see through you. You think you're smarter than the people, but guess what? The people are smarter than the media. Can you answer the question? Will you be volunteering on the campaign again? Thank you. Wow, cool. <laughs> 